Damn. So, episode 29, and we have a soon to be professional bodybuilder. Hopefully. <laughs> She's in the works, but introduce yourself for all the small people watching. Uh, small people, and no, I'm just joking. I'm, the name is Prudence Annalise Laws, but most people call me P or Fluff. To the big crowd that we have out here, everybody hears that out. But where do you come from? What What's. Uh, Born, raised. Oh, that is a tough question. Cause I was born in San Diego, mm. but my dad is a trucker, so Moving. I've been in forty-eight states. So pick a state, and I've been there, except Hawaii and Alaska. She so. is from everywhere. Yeah, we no. moved around a lot. So like, people were like, "Where are you from?" I'm like, "Shit, uh, would you want me to name them all or <laughs> just?" There, pick a state. We're gonna bring out the map right here. And we're just gonna start pinpointing each there. one. <laughs> so you've been you're a fitness uh, influencer. Mm -hmm. Kind of, right? Kind of, yeah. Dabbling it all. Dabbling it all. You have a pretty huge audience already. Mm. What brought you into that? Uh, I want to know. I was messing... Well, my nieces and nephews like are on big on TikTok. They're like, look at this TikTok video. I'm like, what the hell is that? And then I was just messing around. Because I like the content. It's funny. So then I'm like, what if I just post a video? So I post a video on like the trend. Yeah. And it was like the disturbed trend and where like you show something amazing. And I just like lifted my shirt up and it was my legs and everyone was like what the heck <laughs> and then i kind of like blew up on that video and i was gonna tell i didn't know because yeah. i turn off notifications on everything That's so then thing. i opened the app i'm like you know i'm bored i'm gonna go on and then everything's just like blown up i'm like what the hell happened and then uh, my nieces and nephews like text me and they're like you're on tiktok i'm like what happened and then it kind of like took off from so there. what's your i, I didn't I haven't even ran and even checked that out but what's your following on tiktok then uh, I think last time I checked is like 600 K. Dang. Yeah. The whole world watching you. Kind of. So is that like a, eh, do you feel like you're more responsible now that you have like the audience? You well, have I've an always, audience? yeah, well, I've always felt responsible whether I had like, cause I had started with like a thousand and then I always felt responsible. I always watched my content cause my nieces and nephews follow me yeah. and I don't want to be like, you can't post that. But when I post it, you know what yeah. I mean? So like, I'm always about big on, you can work out and like still demand respect without being like a dick. You know what I mean? Like you can command control yeah. and also being a woman. You know what I mean? Not like woman power or anything, but like that's like yeah. controversial nowadays is because people are like, oh, you just flaunt your body. You just want this, that, and the other. But I'm like, I do both. Like yeah. name one photo I'm there like half naked. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, so I wanted to keep that strong. And then as my following grew, I didn't want to be because most of my following came from my like my lower body yeah. and then people were like i want her legs i want that and then like my guys they're like asking me like for crazy stuff uh, like uh, in the dms i'm like um sir no thank you <laughs> sir no thank you no uh, not going. interested not interested and then so i just like kept it hard and then my um nieces and nephews like asked me questions here and there and i'm like no i still don't i'm not gonna post that you know what i mean because yeah. they grow up i grew up like right. when i wanted to get fit because i was like fat that's why I wanted to get fit in the first place. Mm. So I grew up seeing these like thin models with thigh gaps, yeah. like teeny waist. And I'm like, I'm going to get that. I got that. No, it was like skinny fat, <laughs> unattractive. I'm like, what the hell? This is but not it. Unattractive to yourself? Mm -hmm. like no, you unattractive to myself. Yeah. Well, I was, yeah. It's kind of like a mix of both. Everyone gets bullied. You know what I mean? But yeah. I was in public school, so I guess it wasn't bad. Yeah. It was just bullied by like church people. Which is, I feel like it's worse because German people are supposed to be nice. Amen. And then, but hey, you need hey, to. You're fat and you need to fix that. Put down the cake. I'm like, oh my gosh. So, but it was like the opposite. It was like a backhand a compliment. Yeah. They're like, oh my gosh, you look so good. And then I'm like, why are you talking to me? And then like mm. they talk behind my back and stuff. So I'm uh, like, that's like, <sighs> I know. I'm like, wow. Cause we, I would have just, I would have just rather to be like, just be upfront with me. You yeah. know what I mean? I've never been like the person who's like, um, I just like be, people being up front. You know what I mean? But there's not, there's still not a lot of people like that. No, no, no one's like that. Everyone's and, keyboard warriors. Like pretty much, like an, pretty much almost all the podcasts, it, the question or the conversation always comes up about people, friends that you had moved on. Why did you move on? Shit like that. Mm -hmm. And it's always like, 
we end up at one point finding out like, oh, this person always had hatred to me or exactly. didn't want me to succeed or move on. It's mm-hmm. like, bro, like why, why even waste energy and time on that type of negative energy? Mm-hmm. So I was eh, looking through your stuff. You also, what degree do you have? I'm a licensed massage therapist and I also went to school for kinesiology. Damn. Yeah. How you said you just, you do it all. I mean, I, I dabble in everything. I'm like a huge anatomy geek. Like what? anything about the body. Like, did you know your skin is like the largest organ? And people are like, why are you telling me that? I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> you didn't want to know. <laughs> I'm unsocialized, so, so I don't know what to talk about. Like everyone's like, how's your day? I'm like, did you know the human body is like the hugest organ and it absorbs everything. And people are like, the fuck is she talking about? I'm like, so oh. So if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> now you know. You know. Exactly. Fun facts. <laughs> <laughs> So what brought is that what brought you into uh, sports massage and all that stuff? Or is it because of where you're already at, like in the fitness industry and stuff like that? Well, I would want it like fitness is a part of recovery. So like as you're a bodybuilder, you like get sore and then you have to fix it and repair it, do Epsom salt baths, yada, yada. But I was going to school for kinesiology and then I was thinking about mis- um, physical therapy. Yeah. And then it's all orient. I didn't like how it was orientated towards like if you can afford it, you get it. You know what I mean? Like, if you can afford $600 a month towards your knee injury, yeah. then we'll fix it. But if you can't, then, like, hit the door. You know what I mean? And I didn't like that. So I'm like, what? There has to be, like, an alternative. You know what I mean? So my professor is like, um, it was, like, the end of the year, and he's like, write a paper about what you're passionate about. And then, hof- like, most of the people was, like, it was Azusa Pacific. So mm-hmm. it was, like, bougie people, like, who had money. And I'm just like... I'm paying for college myself. You know what I mean? Looking at my empty pockets. And I'm like, oh, what am I going to write about? Like, (laughs) I don't know the ghetto. So um, I started writing about like the what happens to people who can't afford physical therapy. Yeah. And it's a large percentage of people who can't afford it. So I'm like, what happens to them? So then I found massage therapy, massage therapy, a licensed massage therapist, and a physical therapist do the exact same job, but the physical therapists just have more knowledge Mm. because massage therapist is like a year. A yeah. year and a half course. And then physical therapy is like four years. You know what I mean? So they have more knowledge. So I'm like, what if I take the knowledge and then I just, you know, do like a massage therapy act. You know what I mean? So then yeah. I started getting into that. And then I already know like a large amount of weird stuff about the body. So I'm like, let me just put that towards use. Two and two together. And then I found out how much it correlates towards bodybuilding. Yeah. Like cupping. Like I do like my own experience, like how cupping is like how it helps promote growth. Like I cupped one side of my leg for like two weeks and it grew two inches. So I'm like, uh, well, that was great. Yeah. But like now I had to do it the other side. So like just like little experience like that, it does a lot, like tremendous. Shit. And I wanted it more towards athletes. I'm like, I want to work with athletes. Yeah. I want to work with people who are like physically active. But then that changed when um, I did an internship for a medical massage yeah. and she had everyone walking in the door. She had like nurses, people who worked at desks. Everyone in like normal jobs, like warehouse jobs, yeah, everything. It wasn't just stuck to one specific person, yeah. Person or type of group, like uh, one of my close boys, Caesar. He has his raw body works right there in San Dimas. Mm-hmm. Same thing. He started off in an office, house calls, and he was doing house calls to like twelve a.m. Then next day, six a.m., seven a.m. Yeah. And that's how we met. And it was like, bro, like, all right, we got, we connected, had a good conversation took a leap of faith and i think that's one phrase that always has been coming up in this podcast taking a leap of faith Mm -hmm. he said all right i'm gonna leave a sure thing which is an office and i'm gonna go get my own spot yeah got his own spot and how he said just has a little bit of everything uh college athletes high school athletes parents dads people that don't hit the (laughs) the gym (laughs) just like me that much but like yeah he's attentive to everybody yeah, that, once you open your horizon, you can help so many people. Because I was, like, stuck on athletes. I'm like, I wouldn't want to, like, help athletes because yeah. they doing something with their lives. Do you know what I mean? But, like, half of them get injured. So I'm like, which I can help. But then I'm like, how do I touch that when you're nobody? You know what I mean? So I'm like, well, st- this is a dilemma. You still think you're a nobody? Well, I'm not famous until I get a blue check. That's what I say. <laughs> people are like, you're famous. You're from TikTok. I'm like, who is she talking to? You know what I mean? But, like... It's just like the blue check. But even if I, when I didn't have following, people were like, no, you know your stuff. I'm like, yeah, but still, I don't feel like, cause it, like the weird thing with massage therapy, you can be in it for 10 years. Yeah. And then a new person comes along 
like six months and they're like no you're great you're great but then i'm like how yeah. do you know you know what i mean but when i started knowing when i worked for that medical the medical massage because she was like bro you're good you know your and shit. then her clients were like nah you're tremendous and you're like on her level and i'm like i'm like six months old in massage therapy and then they're like no you're good so then i'm like okay so maybe i have potential and then as like when i first noticed is when her sciatic clients came in mm. and sciatic my mom has it like everyone has it you know yeah. what i mean so and it's very tricky because you can't over do it yeah. Like with cupping, stretching, nothing. You can't overdo it because then it'll make it worse. And then the guy I worked on, he came to me. He couldn't lift up his leg. Not even 90. And he was standing. I'm like, what do you do? He's like, oh, I do four clicks all day. I'm like, what? <laughs> and you can't stand? Or like nip your knee? And he's like, nah. So I like helped him. I saw him like three times and he stopped. He was able to stop taking his pain pills. And then he told me that. I'm like, oh my gosh, dude, are you, you had okay? had the Midas touch. And then he's like, nah, that's from you. I'm like. Oh my gosh, I'm like good at what I do, bro. And he's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> so you literally have the Midas touch. Mm. You got the Midas touch. But uh, so do you think that's, so kind of transferring into you knowing your shit, right? Mm. You've mastered your shit, you're still learning it, and you're growing from it. But through the social media, right? Social media is a monster, I yeah. always say. It. It's, if it's very you're, hard. If you're ready, have a following, and you stop for a week, people are like, hey, where the where are you? Dude. What'd you do? I know. What is this? So have have you gotten people, maybe people you already interacted with that don't expect you to know what you know okay. by like how, what is it? Just misjudgment. Yeah. I look at how the world is. If you're good looking, you're stupid. Mm -hmm. If you're ugly, you're smart. And it's like, eh, I can be ugly, but I can still be smart. Yeah. If I can be good looking, I can still be smart. Mm. Did you run into that it's or like, have you run into it's that It's like shit? a sales pitch when you first see people. Because yeah. when people like look at me, because when they think of massage therapist, they think of like relaxation. Yeah. But when they see me, they're like, oh my gosh, she's big as shit, bro. She's going to hurt me. You know what I mean? But then I'm like, hi, how are you? And they're like, oh my gosh, I'm confused. And then when I get them <laughs> on their table, it's just like a whole, like, I just talk to them. I'm like, they're like, wow, you're actually really cool. And you know your shit. Yeah. Like, wow, you're actually really intelligent. I'm like, thanks. I mean, it's a back kind of conflict, but I'll take it. You know I mean? <laughs> it's like a little low blow, but exactly. I but that's you. how it is. Like in massage, yeah. like it's difficult in the massage um, industry because there's so many different, like therapeutics. You know what I mean? What like modalities. Now? Like you can be like a lot of people thought I did honey massage, which is like you know sensual, uh. and then you give like a little happy situation. I'm like no. No, it's very legal, and I can lose my license, and I'm still new here, so. <laughs> it's like, let's cut that shit out right Yeah, there. no, but I didn't know. They're like, you do honey massage? And I'm like, uh, I do Swedish. And they're like, oh, no, we don't, no. I'm like, what is that? And I had to Google it. I'm like, oh, That's definitely no. <laughs> definitely not, no. Do you think that just goes back to, like, that what people look see you as? Like, when you, yeah. when you go to massage places, and I'm sure a lot of people already have gone, Guys want to get massaged by girls, and mm -hmm. they have the imagination and shit like that. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. That's like, well, bro, like, mm -hmm. if you're really hurting, there's you need somebody that knows their shit, and that really, like, my boy Caesar knows his shit, and is really, like, compassionate to what he does. Yeah. And before you leave there, he'll tell you what happened, what's going on, and what you need to do to kind of avoid it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, damn, bro, I, I left here not knowing shit, and... That's like, you taught me something. Yeah, but it's just like that's crazy. Like someone is like, hey, like you're you... teaching somebody else about their body, and then you kind of feel like you're like wowed at first, but you're like, oh yeah. my gosh, why do you know so much about my body? You know what I mean? But like as massage therapists, we know, like especially when we're we there and to. like attacking the problem, like when you have like a shoulder issue, yeah. we're like, yeah, you have scar tissue, your rhomboids tight, you have tightness here, and you're like, what? And I'm like, yeah, what do you do? And you're like, oh, I lift all the time, and I like misused it this time. Like, yeah, we could tell. Like when you get on the body, you're like, we know you're messed up. We got to yeah. fix it. You know so I mean? now with your, with the bodybuilding, how long have you been bodybuilding for mm, or training? Well, like the whole fitness journey, your whole fitness journey, uh, including my weight loss. Probably. Well, what is it? 23, 21, 2021. Okay. Uh, probably like three years, three You're, you're years. how old? 25. 25. And your fitness journey has only been three years. Mm-hmm. I've only been taking bodybuilding like seriously for like a year since I met my coach yeah. and I told him like I want to compete. So like for a year. Yeah. Serious bodybuilding for a year. And then the other two was just, just trying workouts. to lose weight and be like, look normal, yeah. you know, <laughs> 
or like happy with myself. So, Dang. so how's that? How's that transition right from just losing weight, trying to look good, into now going into being a pro? I feel like it's a lot harder because <laughs> when I was first, I was just chilling like with the with my guys in the five by nine. When I first lost all the weight, I lifted yeah. with them. They like they were football players and they lifted like deadlifting, like compound lifts, but they were also strong as hell. Yeah. And I was just doing the same thing. And then so I was just messing around, just enjoying. But like since I transitioned into competing, because like my genetics like came through and they're like, dude, you're Jack. Look at your legs. I'm like, they're not normal. And then like since I've attacked leg days, like all my guy friends are like, yeah, so we got to start hitting legs now. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> we're doing like two hours of legs. Shit. So like when I wanted to compete, it's more detailed. So, like, I went to the gym just to, like, blow off steam. If I was stressed out, the gym. You know what I mean? Right. I lived in there. But now it's, like, a discipline to where you have to reach a certain goal, yeah. reach a certain amount of size. You know what I mean? And I'm, like, all about, like, technical stuff. So, I'm, like, measuring my quads. And if I'm half an inch, I'm freaking out. I'm doing more reps. Like, it's, like, I, my coach is, like, relax. It's not that serious. Yeah. But, like, in my head, I'm, like, measuring. But it's how they say you're your biggest critic. Mm -hmm. You really are. You're Body dysmorphia biggest. is serious so how's your balance with doing sports massage uh you train people right you just got into training people training people personally personal, personal training, training? Personal no training. i used to be a personal trainer but uh, no i stopped i do like online here and there like when girls ask me for advice i just yeah. give it to them for free so how's i'll be like i could like try and like take money from you but then i'm like it's just just if like, half of them won't even do it yeah. like when girls are like i want to gain size i'm like eat <laughs> like that's your biggest setback yeah. I'm like, ground turkey, you got to eat more protein. And they're like, yeah, 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 that's what I'm doing. I'm like, what are you eating? Because when I met my coach, I'm like, bro, I eat a lot of food every yeah. three hours. And he's like, how much do you eat? I was eating 1,200 calories, like tuna, rice, chicken. And I was in school the whole time. So I had like shit. bags of chicken in my pockets and shit. <laughs> so there's two backpacks, one for school and then one for the food. Exactly. I'm like, I'm eating. And he's like, that's not enough. So oh, now that he fed me and like gave me macros, I'm like, now I'm eating enough. So and I blew now? up like super quick. Where you at now from 1200 to like well right now i'm in prep so it's like 16 2000 but i he blew me up i was in a serious bulk that's when covid happened so yeah. i ate bro <laughs> i'm fat at, i'm still fat at heart i'm my fat kid comes out what's favorite foods top oreos. three oreos for sure anything with like um what's it called meat on her like pizza i'm like a huge and then steak oh my gosh but with my braces it's kind of hard now <laughs> Cause like my teeth are all the time, uh, so like I want like low key a liquid diet. Uh, yeah, it sucks. I mean, sometimes you gotta make it fun. One of a uh, one of the dudes the other day, uh, a barber to my brother in law, he was like, "Yeah, dude, my boy, he got they jumped him, wire shut." He said he had the urge to eat In and Out. He got a burger, blended it, and he was like, "Bro, the texture uh, was weird, but the taste was there." I was mm, like, "What?" I mm -mm. was like, "Damn, that's that's a way to get your food in." food intake no matter what yeah i mean do you bro do you? <laughs> yeah so with your sports massage you're mobile right like mm. you go pretty yeah much so I, wherever. yeah so i was trying to kick off like my massage therapy because i'm like i'm shy at first so like when yeah. i see people like what's up bro I'm like i'll give you a head knob and then i'll like leave you know what i mean what's up g exactly and then people are like what the? and then i'm like oh, okay i'm a weirdo so i'm like how do i like put myself out there so you're not a people's person i'm really not i'm really a vintage introvert don't. Like, if you see me in public, like, you can approach me, but, like, I kind of, like, make it weird. If people are not, if an introvert meets me, yeah. we're like, what's up? I really like your work. And I'm like, then we leave. And then we run away from each other. And they're like, what is going on? I'm like, I don't know. Like, I went to Fitness 19 and this guy approached me and he's like, you're that girl on TikTok. I just watched the video. And then I'm like. Oh, thanks. Not, well, that's awesome. And I'm like, my first thought was like, which video? But then I'm like, I can't watch that. It sounds conceited. So I'm like, don't say that. Yeah. And then I'm just like, but I'm like, oh, I'm being weird. What's up, bro? How are you doing? How long have you been going to the gym? And then like I kick in, but it takes me like buffers <laughs> and it's like, oh, socialization. There it is. You know, it's weird. Oh, that's important. I fucking exactly. forgot it. What am I doing standing here like this? Okay. I got to talk. So you know with, I mean? so with going to meeting clients for the sports massage is, was that out of your comfort zone? Very now? out of my comfort zone. Like my friend Michelle, I'm like, girl, I don't, I need help. Cause she's very, she can talk. Yeah. I've never been the girl that can just talk about stuff like it, normally. Like, how's your day? And then you're just talking about life. I'm like, how do you get there? I don't know. So then I'm like, push me. And then she started pushing me. She's like, go give her your business card. Go tell her you lift. You know what I mean? Because I get a lot of attention. 
So I need to utilize it. You know mm. what I mean? So then I'm like, how do I utilize it? So I just started talking to people. And then I also took the advice. Well, I also took people what they told me not to do. And I applied it. A lot of people, because I wanted to work for areas yeah. in like here. And then they're like, oh, they wanted to take me once I like tell them what I'm capable of. But yeah. then they're like, nah, but they want to like pay me like average. I'm like, no. You're not average. No. I'm like, if I'm going to be average, I'm going to work at like McDonald's or something. Like that's how low the pay was. I'm like, nah. So then they, they take me, but they're like, I'm like, so how did you grow your business? And yeah. they're like, oh, social media, but don't do that. Cause it's very hard. You got to pay a lot of money for that. I'm like, oh. okay. And then they're like, don't do mobile. Whatever you do, mobile is not where it's at. Cause you know, weirdos, you're a woman. And I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. But yeah. then I'm like, I'm going to be broke soon. So I got to start doing something. You know what I mean? So then I started promoting mobile and then I started promoting on my social media. I have a following. So I'm like, shit, it's right there. Free. And that's what they're scared of. And I took off just with that. Just the to what they told me not to do, I did. It's, and it, that's what we were saying yesterday. I've had a conversation. It's like, bro, you can start a business and then the people that are not in there or not even, they're not even you. They have the biggest like don't do this don't do that mm -hmm. don't do this but it's like bro like what it, that worked for you it may not work for me how you said they told you don't use social media but mm -hmm. when you have the following the way you already have it like mm -hmm. you have an audience people watch every move no matter what you do a story a post it's scary <laughs> they were like where what places you tagged or maybe even as simple as where you went to go eat mm -hmm. they're like oh well i want to try what what she ate yeah so why not use it Instead of Power paying social media, instead of paying all that money, dun dun dun, it's yeah, it's already done. It's crazy. So once I promote it, because a lot of people, I'm like clueless. So like a lot of people, are like, what does she even do? Yeah, I'm like, oh, you guys don't know what I do. And then I like jumped on my story because like I'm like self conscious about my voice too. So people are like, you don't sound feminine. I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and plus, I got called. I, I the insecurity started when someone called me a dude on the phone twice. First, my father did that. And it, like, it scarred me for life. But I'm like, it's whatever. Yeah. So he can mess up. He's old. You know what I mean? It's fine. But then someone who didn't know me, they're like, hello, sir. Um, what do you... I'm like, I'm a woman. But yeah, I'll get back to you on that. And then he's like, oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I mean, ma'am. I'm like... <gasps> again. <laughs> again. <laughs> Here we go. But I, like, eventually get over it from, like, here and there. But then it's like, I can't change it, you know? And oh. I'm, like, the, not the only one with the D-boys anyway. Nah. It just makes it worse because people are like, she's on steroids. I'm like... Oh. I wish I was because then I look bigger, but I'm not. <laughs> but I mean, it goes back into like the industry you're in or, and what you do. Growing any sort of muscle, how you said genetics happen. But when you work hard, you get your results mm. right away. People want to throw it is she's on something. Yeah. So I'm on food. I'm on water. Exactly. On people want to fight about that. I get people approaching me like this little woman like the other day, like this week. And I'm on like 80 grams of carbs. Like mm. I don't have no energy for nothing. <laughs> I was getting my coffee and then she's like, you know what? It's a tragedy. Your generation just wants to like throw money at their problems. And instead of working hard for a body like that, you just throw money at it. I'm like, I literally turn around. I'm like, who the hell are you talking to right now? <laughs> I like took out my airport. I'm like, hello? Are you? And then I'm like looking around for like, Who, whose mom is this? Then I'm like, I can't even argue with me. What do you want me to say? You're yeah. right. It's a BBL surprise. You know yeah. what I mean? But then I'm like, I'm not going to argue with you. Like I've had people like, like want me to argue about my naturalness i'm like okay For you'll people. know if it's not natural like so you can the, clearly see you know what i mean so do you get more of those people like on your social media like oh, hey you got surgery like when my tiktok like account blew, blew up, up everyone thought it was fake but i'm like if it was fake i wouldn't lie about it you know what i mean yeah. like that's one thing i'm like even if like even me personally if i saw another girl in the gym and she got a bbl and like because you have to maintain it you know Correct. what i mean i would never be like no you never got your ass you're promoting i just have a problem when you're promoting it yeah. and you don't use it or you bought it you know what i mean yeah but like i'll never bash another chick and be like oh her boobs are fake you know she's working out chest what you know how like idiotic sounds <laughs> you know what i mean she's working for a butt but she bought it you know what i mean yeah. like it makes her feel comfortable it's like a huge risk props to her because it's very dangerous i did uh, like a shit load of research on that a lot it's very dangerous so you're too hard you're a nerd i know to it's really heart. bad i wanted a boob job for the longest but then it's too much research i'm like wow no it's not too much research but it's i did too much to want one now like it's very dangerous ooh. you got to upkeep it it's just like a lot of work i'm like oh my gosh you'd rather work hard do chest for real 
And well, they're forever going to be small. <laughs> I, I made that decision when I was fat. I had D's and now I'm like to an A. So <laughs> I'm like, do I want a lower body or upper body? You know, so yeah. I just transitioned. So with the, the whole, with everything you're doing, what would you say is like your biggest motivation to continue and strive for even more? I say, I don't know, just like myself, I'm just like, I could say like everyday motivation, discipline, you know, whatever you got to put your mindset to, you know what I mean? I'm just like, if you enjoy it, you'll better yeah. yourself. And you're, it's you sport. It's a you sport. So you're competing against yourself and you'll never be better than yourself. Like you might be, I mean, I'm good now, yeah. but what can I be next year? What can I be in like a week and a half? You know what I mean? Cause your body is constantly changing, you oh, know? Yeah. And then there's girls like who I want to look like and I look up to. Like, um, I can't pronounce her name, but she's known for like her black eye lenses and then her big oh, ass legs. Yes, she yes, yes. Is, was the reason I started lifting heavy. I'm like, that's what I want to look like. Yeah, she, she looks, to this day, I still want to look like that. It's pretty sick. Her fucking eye. I know. Oh my God. She looks dope. I don't care what nobody said. She's like too muscular. I'm like, no, she looks great, dude. And she like owns it too. But that's just like, uh, everybody has that, that, um, uh, stigma. They want you to be fit, but they don't want you to be big. Mm -hmm. They want you to be fit, but they don't want you to be skinny. So it's like, whoa, what do you, you mean? You can't satisfy anybody. No. Like, I'll be too big for some... Like, I've had guys DM me, don't get bigger than this. You look great. I'm like, well, I'm going to get bigger. Sorry. Like, uh, Sorry, guys. Or like, girls are like, oh, it's too muscular for me. I don't want to do that. And then they see me in person, like, no, I want to look like that. I'm like, you can't satisfy to anybody. It's just whatever no. you're satisfied, as long as you're comfortable, you know? As long as you're happy. Mm -hmm. As long as, like, I'm big on, like, I tell everybody, dude... If you're not happy when you wake up in the morning and when you go to sleep, right, with what you're doing, mm -hmm. you got to change it. If you're not happy with your body, change it. Mm -hmm. And it's like the easiest thing. Hit a gym. Oh, I do hit the gym. And how you said, well, how many times? How many times? Do you eat? Well, I go every other day or Cardio twice a doesn't week. count. I mean, actual weights. When people are like, oh, two hours. I'm like, uplifting. They're like, oh, I think. 30 minutes. I'm like, nah. Because the most conception, when I first started lifting, I'm like, cardio, 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 cardio. Because that's what everyone was telling me it on social all media. With the facts right now. Please, I want to learn this. If you want to gain muscle and like lose weight at the same time, yeah. weight lift, compound weight lift, squats, sumo, conventional, whatever. Like that will, I saw the fastest race weight loss with that. And you build muscle. Like yeah. it's the first, like you, it's the best thing ever. So what it, cardio, what would be ideal cardio? Stairs. Stairs. I hate stairs so much. For how long? It's got me this far. <laughs> <laughs> I do stairs at least, well, on when I'm bulking, 30, 45 minutes. Yeah. And it's not like a level two, my guy. It's like a level seven. Yeah. I that's like a, a level nice, five. That's like a nice pace right there. That's a nice, I would probably, ten minutes, five minutes in, I'll fall off the stairs <laughs> at that level. <laughs> that's what people say to me. Like, you do how much? On level what? I'm like, seven. And right now I'm on nine, so and you still weight to lift. an hour. You still like weight lift. Yeah. So that's that is what you have to do to not just maintain, but to get bigger, to mm. get more, get stage ready. Exactly. I'm like freaking out about that. <laughs> people don't want to. People don't want to do what's needed. Mm -mm. As long like they're they want like a quick fix. You know, like if I have girls like coming up to me, what do you eat? What do you do this? And if I told them like eat an Oreo before bed, they would yeah, do it. They want the 30 day challenge. Exactly. I'm like, um, it's, you have to be consistent. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what I told myself when I was like little and stuff like that. I, what drove me is me looking in the mirror. I'm like, dude, one day I'm going to be big. I'm going to be it. That's... I'm going to be what I want to look like. And yeah. then from like my progress pictures to like on my Instagram and then I like my transition videos on my TikTok and stuff. Like, if someone would have told the 120-pound die gap me, like, no nothing, that I would have been, like, thick and, like, muscular now, I would not have believed it. I would have been like, who's that? I wouldn't look like her. But then I'm like, girl, that's you. That's you. Like, two years later. <laughs> Damn. There. So, we're getting you out of your shell, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Like, how we just said, you're an introvert, and you're getting out of your shell because of your friend. Mm -hmm. She told you, go put get, yourself out there. Put yeah. yourself out there. Are you planning, or is that something you've just been trying to work on, right? That you're just trying to be out there more social, more out there on social media, like because of your business, of your career. 
Is that like... Yeah, it's from like day one since I went to an actual college for like the first time and I had to meet people in person. Like my professor's like, I'm Dr. Ted. I'm like, wow, you, you're an actual person. You're not there's like a name on a screen. It was like bad. <laughs> like interacting with people on the daily and like doing my school because I was used to like how like my homeschool work is they give you the work yeah. and if you finish it, you're done. So I finished high school in like two years because I like took 12 units. I'm like, as much as you can give me, give it to me. You know what I mean? And then I'm like, I could chill like the rest. That's how I lost the weight like so quick because I didn't have nothing to do. So then when I went to college, I'm like, wow, I'm like a weirdo. And like the the weirdos, like it's a Christian university. So like there's the weirdos. And then she had more friends than I am. I'm like, I'm like a weirdo, you guys. (laughs) That is not okay. (laughs) So then I'm like, okay, I got to start putting myself out there. And then um, that's when it started. And then one of my business, like I created my own business and... um, Full flex recovery. Uh, that's when I had Full to. Flex recovery. That's when I had to put myself out there. I'm like, yeah. how are people gonna know? Oh yeah, I gotta open my mouth and like let them know I'm not a weirdo. <laughs> You're gonna show up and be like, are you ready? Okay, that's cool. exactly awesome. Just shut up. <laughs> just take all this recovery right now. So just briefly, I mean, I already asked you, but you, are you taken single, married, soon to be married, soon to be married, engaged? I got a she fiance. Is off the market, boys. Stop market. hitting. Stop. Th- Throwing those <laughs> DMs, bro. Exactly. So, your fiance, mm-hmm. he's an extrovert. How does that work out? It's perfect. He's always talking. I'm listening. <laughs> That's just how it is. Because he's just like, this side, you ever tell me about his day? I'm like, That's great. I love that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then he like told me, but when I first met him, like, I didn't think, like, I let it all out. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, cause I like moved to college and I was dealing with like a bunch of stuff and like people were like trying me for like no reason, which is another story. But like I was holding on a lot of stuff and I'm not a talker. So like it yeah. does so much when you just talk about stuff you're going through. And I never understood that. I'm like, I'm not telling you I'm having a bad day. I don't get yeah, why. I don't want to tell you. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, someone ran me over today. It really hurt. You know, I'm like, no, duh. So then when I told him like all my stuff. I'm like, I'm never going to see you again, bro. It was just like a ha- casual hangout. I'm like, I'm never going to see you again. So I told him all my stuff, and he's just like, oh, you're amazing. I'm like, what? This is not how it was supposed to go. <laughs> like, I'm not running you, making you scared? I was p- planning on it. I'm like, you're not scared right now? And he's like, like looking at me with like the hard eyes emojis. I'm like, mm, I think I messed up, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and now three years later. Three years later. Seriousness, lockdown. I told him like, "There's no way of getting out now. <laughs> You're screwed." <laughs> but it, so, with uh, your whole following audience, does that play a part, or has it affected in any sort of way, like your personal life? Like with a with, being in a like, relationship, being in a relationship, right? Because yeah. they they it said when there's a lot of things that go on behind camera, behind mm-hmm. the the pages. Like you're not that person. You're on camera. Yeah. So. No, I think I, like a lot of people when they see me in person, they're like, you're different because they expect me. I mean, I feel like a lot of people told me like I've had the resting like bitch face and I'm like, what is even that? You know what I mean? <laughs> but I see it like I saw my face when yeah. I was resting. I'm like, wow, why do I look angry? You know? So then when I see people and they actually like see me to speak and like see my personality, they're like, oh, you're like weird. I'm like, that's a good thing. And they're like, yeah that's great you're, i love it you're a good weird you're a good weird right? i know i'm like is there a good weird i don't know but like once people like once i like meet a person like when girls approach me and they're like oh i thought you, i didn't want to come up to you like i have like an intimidating factor girls are like i'm scared yeah. of her and i'm like have i met you and they're like no i'm like oh okay and how are you scared then how are you scared like i don't get it yeah one of my small big homies paco he's like what six four six five mm. so when we would go to the gym together it says you have two tall guys, dad bods, serious faces. And then we get to talking and we're just fucking laughing like we're little kids. <laughs> and I was just like, the like, best relationship. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, like, we're unapproachable, right? People think we're unapproachable. Mm-hmm. But once you come even ask us for any sort of help, advice, or to spot you, I'm like, hell yeah, bro, let's do it. They're like, bro, I never expected you. I feel like those are the best people too. Like the people who you're scared to approach, you're like, no, he's mean, bro. Like they're the best persons like yeah. ever to like ever have a conversation with. It's the people who like, oh, I love her. Like super outgoing. The guy who's like always talking to somebody, like putting videos out there, YouTube. And then you meet him in person. He's just like, no, 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 I can't talk to you. I can't talk to you. Oh, that and then I'm like, us. what? That, like, that happened when we first moved into the colony at the lakes in West Coast. We ran into some eh, pretty big up there youtube stars mm. 
and it's like, hey, like just casual, right? I, we're, I'm very, hey, how are you doing? Hello, have a good one. And it was just like head nodding. Like they dismiss you. I'm like, bro, I just said hi. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking for an autograph. I'm not asking for a picture. Like we've had like Lonzo Ball in that. And it's just like, hey, what's up, bro? Are you going to win your game? Mm -hmm. What's up, bro? Yeah, that's the plan. Cool. It's like, uh, take At a picture At least something. Later. Yeah. Yeah, like take a picture later. Like it, I don't I don't know. Maybe never like starstruck, right? Like they're just people. Mm. I'm just people. I'm trying to even regardless of the following, regardless of what we're doing. It's like, bro, there's a there's a plan to everything. Mm -hmm. If I'm doing this here on camera, then when you meet me, I'm just an asshole. Then this is already dismissed. Like, there's no way I can be doing that. That's too much work, too much time to to live both lives that are. All right, I'm positive here, but I'm an asshole outside. Mm -hmm. It's like people are gonna be like, bro, you're not that person. Yeah. I never understood, like, the whole people, like, hold people to a certain, like, extent. Yeah. And they're like, no, she's famous. She's going to be, like, they paint a picture. And then when they meet you and, like, you blow their minds, they're like, that's great. She's not, like, yeah. a, like mean or anything. You know what I mean? But, like, the people who are like that, like, I go back to, like, my introvertness. And I'm like, it takes people courage. Like, I don't know, like, maybe not to, like, this extreme. But if I'm going to go up to someone I don't know, yeah. I'm freaking out. <laughs> I'm like, what if I like stumble my words? What if I trip in front of them? Um, like, this way. is all playing through my head as I'm walking towards you. You know what I mean? So then I'm like, even if they are weird and it like comes off weird, I'll never be like. Did no. you did like, you, you know grow I mean? good relationship like friendships with those type of people that you met in in that way? In the gym, yeah, in and out. Like the girls who like approached me are the guys. Yeah. Yeah. I've never been like, nah, dude. He was a weirdo. I'm never hanging out with him again. Like, it's never been like that. I'll be yeah. like, yeah, bro, we hung out a couple times. Like, when girls ask me to come work out, I'm like, show up. <laughs> that's all you like, got to do. That's all you got to do. Like, they've done that. You know what I mean? Like, comes, half of them won't. Like, girls are like, no, I want to come work out. Like, some things fall through. Like, I get that. Yeah. But then I'm like, I'll be here at this time. If you show up, we can work out. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, the girl I posted on my TikTok, Vanessa, she hit me up. And she's like, I'm in Costa Mesa. You got to come out. And we'll be like... um, we can get a workout in and stuff and everything. And I'm like, yeah, okay. So I show up. I'm like, I'll be there. And then we're like best friends now. Like I've never been like, I only hung out with her once. And I never talked to her again. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I follow them. Like a lot of people are like, oh, just follow me back. And I'm like encouraging them. Like all the girls who like purchased my like booty plans or like my 60 day shred. Yeah. I'm like, I'm following your progress. Like they're just like, what? Up. I didn't think you cared. I'm like, yeah, you literally invested in my knowledge. There's a lot of people in that industry alone. It's, it's monster huge mm -hmm. everybody's a trainer everybody's an influencer exactly everybody is is a pro mm -hmm. but like when we had jay jaylen now you her fr friend Jalissa, it's like you guys are really going through it like really putting in the work putting in the time to really be called a pro like i think he just came and got his pro card and i was like bro like i followed you on ig for like two three years already seeing your come up when you went back down and looking at that progress, it was like, bro, like that's crazy. Mm -hmm. like, let me let's find out how that worked. What what mental breakdown or what what mentally did you have to go through? Mm -hmm. So I think that was just amazing. So now that I just brought that up, have you struggled with like mental, emotional, or any like moment in your life you're just like, fuck, bro, this is too hard. Not, I mean, mentally, I don't know because I've been like in certain situations yeah. where it's like like altercations mm -hmm. like i've had like i don't know people like trying me for some reason especially when i have my motorcycle people just come up to me and like will mess with me on purpose and i'm like what like i've had i went to the gym in west covina the gold's gym and you know how like there's a carport up there at the top i yeah. parked my motorcycle up there i was leaving the gym and like a van pulls up and like 40 dudes come out and like take my bike like literally try taking my bike and I'm like, bro, I'm really going to have to fight you right now. It's not even the first time. Like, I, first time I got oh, jumped was in Texas. And I was, like, viewing TCU, the campus. And then, like, people just, it, like, that was the first experience. And I wish it was the last, but it was just the first. Shit. Like, it's happened three other times. But, like, mentally, it didn't, like, I'm already a mentally a strong person. But, like, yeah. physically, when you, like, come at me, and especially if you're a dude, like, yeah. I'm fighting. And, like, my dad didn't teach me how to, like, freaking pull hair and, like, slap you across the cheek. Like, he's Fucking like, straight. you stop fighting when someone pulls you off. Yeah. And then that's what I just had to do. I, like, literally had to fight my for, for my life at one point. And then I'm just, like, after that, I'm like, well, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Fuck. Yeah. It's, like, 
So like physically and mentally, it was like a challenge, Damn. especially for like a woman. So you, you have to, how you said you had to fight for your life. Is that something you keep like in the back of your head? Like All the time. Every morning you get up. It also changes your perspective on like everyday life. You know how like veterans come home. Like I have a lot of friends that like serve time, like not serve time, <laughs> serve time for their government. Not joking. <laughs> who do t like who are in the military and stuff, yeah. and then they come home and it's just chill. Like they're used to fighting and killing over there, and like what they see, and then they come home and it's like cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like ever since that event in Texas, like I'm skeptical of everybody. Like even if yeah, someone's just approached me, I already know you're coming. Yeah. Like I've had people like, hello, hello. And I already know you've been there. Like when you come up me from the high, behind the gym, I'm not going to like throw like an elbow or nothing, but yeah. I'm like, I've seen you already walking. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm just very like in restaurants, I won't be up against a wall. You know what I mean? Like I'll never have someone like my, my back towards the wall or yeah. towards the door where yeah. someone's coming in. Like I'm always like, just making sure. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. cause that's how aware I'm in. like, I'm always carrying something on me to protect myself. And I also like do like a tactic, like when I do my mo mobile massage or like when I go in a store, I'm like, just in case this happens, you know, I'm like escape route, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> walking in and like, exit there, exit there. Boom, exactly. There. It like changes your mind. Like ever since that, like that was a huge like mental thing that I had to get over is like shift. not everyone's coming after you. Yeah. But after that, like that happened, I'm like, okay, I just got to like kind of relax. So does that, that bring you into like the friendships and the people you allow to be a part of your life mm -hmm. too. I'm Same like thing. super secluded. That's why I don't like anyone know about my personal life. Like I'll tell yeah. them like, Oh yeah, I'm going to locate in Rancho. Yeah. Like come like help me, like let me help you like with your recovery and stuff like that. Like totally. Yeah. But like when they start asking me questions, like I took a psychology class, I like revert the questions back to you. And they're like, how's your day? I'm like, I was, it was good. You know, how's your day? What do you do for a living? You know, and I'm just like shooting you. And then you end up talking more. Yeah. So, like, when you ask me to do this, I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to be talking the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, so. but if you notice, like, when, when this is posted, you're going to be like, damn, maybe I was talking a lot. It's like, I already know. But I'm we, feeling that right now. I'm like, wow, <laughs> I should shut up right now. No, not at all. Because how I tell everybody, like, bro, you may not expect it from yourself, but you have a lot to say. Mm -hmm. You have a story to tell that people, even if you have 100 people following you, those maybe 50, 20 people are looking at what you're doing. Mm -hmm and are inspired and motivated by how you move and what you do. Because just to, I mean, d dude, we're both young, 25 years old, still have a lot of lot left, mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of gas in the tank. So it's like, we have to do something now. So in 10 years from now, we're in a better position than mm -hmm. we are now. Yeah. Even if we're good, right? Like, I think I'm good. You're probably good. But there's always that room. Yeah. yeah room like, for improvement. Like, yeah, exactly. how, how do you think you're going to feel after your first show? getting out of the comfort zone <laughs> well hopefully i don't eat shit on stage but yeah. <laughs> that's like my biggest fear is like being in heels and i'm like bambi you know but like after like my shaking. first show i'll be like relieved because everyone like tells me no once you do your first show you'll love it you'll yeah. want to do like the next one right after but i'm like okay i'll take your your take word your for word it, it. Mm -hmm. so i've been asking this the last like there's what are top top three qualities of yourself that you would say like hey oh my gosh these these three things i have no idea <laughs> i'm like trying to think i'm like oh. uh, <laughs> let's see my drive i guess i do my drive my personality i wouldn't trade that in and then like i don't know like the thing that's like hold made me is like my weirdness you know because people are like what the hell's wrong with there i'm like i don't even know you know what i mean mm -hmm. but i grew up around like guys so like i like bounced off of them like when i get yeah. into like a group of girls like it's kind of weird i'm like relax don't make any weird jokes you know what i mean because girls are like how's your day and like want to take pictures and stuff yeah. like not all girls but just like some girls who are like that and then i'm just like i'm like the odd one out you know what i mean like i want to go play sports and like yeah you know be rough and then they're just like let's go paint our nails i'm like oh i thought we were gonna go snowboarding or something you know what i mean <laughs> they're like no so you just you're not the i mean the phrase i'm brain fart but you're not the typical girl influencer that everybody yeah. like portrays that's what i want to do is like a lot of girls like the influencers now like i wouldn't even consider myself an influencer but just like someone who has like a following yeah. is like you don't have to be like girly like i don't know how to do makeup a lot of people are like what i'm like i don't know i've tried like the whole youtube videos and like it doesn't work <laughs> out i don't know but like you can you don't have to be girly you yeah. don't have to be like flaunting your body everywhere. You don't have to be like, like a lot of people are like, well, you flaunt your body on your page. Yeah, dude. Like if you saw what I look like, like I was 120 pounds and then yeah. I like thick, 
you'd show that shit off too. You know what I mean? Because yeah. people are like, oh no, it's just over body. You're just promoting legs and like ass because that's what you are. I'm like, yeah, because I've worked for it, my guy. You know what I mean? Just like with guys and biceps. Like you worked for your bicep, right? Yeah. So you're going to flex in every picture. That's how I'm at. You know what, what, do, what do the guys do? They put their... They go like this. Right and they're like, right there and they're like, like what's up, man? What's I like up? it when they're hunched over and like flexing their biceps like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then you come in and you're just like, I'm right there too. Exactly. Right here with you, my guy. So, so with that, bro, like the whole, your whole life, your whole thing, right? That people don't expect you to be who you are. Mm. What... What would you say was like the, you already said it right now, the, the thing in Texas. What, at what moment of your life do you think you're just like, this is who I need to be now? With like the whole following, the whole people watching you now. I don't know. I think I've learned that over a period of time. Like since Texas, I was like super fragile back then. I'm not, I'm not her no more. I was just like super scared of everything. I wouldn't ask you, like, if I'm, like, cold and, like, you're, like, oh, yeah, come inside. I'm, like, I would have to talk to you. Yeah, I'm not doing that. You know what I mean? Like, that's how, like, I'm totally not hurt. Like, that's when I'm, like, okay, now it has to happen. Like, yeah. I'll never be the fr – because I was outside of a gym waiting for my Uber. And then he, like, came up behind me and, like, Bam. scared the shit out of me. So then I'm, like, I'll never be fragile – open because they prey on we you don't prey on a big 200 pound dude like waiting for a zebra you know what i mean like yeah. you're gonna get someone smaller so i'm like i'll never be that small mentally or physically and then i'll be able to defend myself i was able to defend myself and like get away but only because i had like my credit card knife with me that's the only thing that's the only reason why i got away but Shit. from that i'm like i'm never gonna be weak again never and then if you i've like people tried and then i'm like you can tell you can ask them like how how they done you know I mean how the other guy looks you know what I mean so you but just, people definitely try people like still you, come at me sideways I'm like bro relax it, is this people have how I keep saying that like people have the idea of this in, people on this trainer this fitness guru and it's like bro weak outside of this like they're not that but it's like not nah, I'm this who I am mm. regardless. Exactly. Well, that's like crazy. Not like what you what you just said. Like I'm, it's processing through my head. Like you have that on your back, mm -hmm. back of your mind, and this is like this is why I need to keep moving the way I'm moving. People don't understand that we have a reason why we move the way we move. Mm -hmm. You gotta ask, right? You gotta really talk to people to understand, like exactly why, why the way they are. Yeah, like why are you why are you why are you an asshole? I mean, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you where I came what from. Happened? What has happened? Mm -hmm. Understand me. Again, you may not like me, right? Because I think we're in a world that we don't get liked mm -hmm. too often. But there's a few people that like us. Because when I, what was it? Yesterday, we was talking to my boy Josh. It's like, you'll get 100,000 views on your IG story. And you get 1,000 likes. Mm -hmm. It's like people, people watch you, but they don't support you. Mm -hmm. With the friends that you have now, did you have to change the group of friends you had to transfer into where you're in now or like they all just stayed aboard um well when i first met my fiance he's like where are your friends i'm like oh they're all over the states my guy like we'll go to texas right now and be like yeah what's up you yeah. know what i mean like with him how he is now like everyone knows him yeah. everyone knows me out of the states so i'm like you just gotta get out of california bro like people will know me but like he didn't like he thought that was the weirdest thing i'm like that's not normal so, like, I still have the people I mess, like, my close friends and stuff. I've had acquaintances. I have a lot of acquaintances. Mm -hmm. But there's some people who are super close to me and they knew who they are. And they know my stuff. Like, they know my story. They're like, that's why she, the way she is. Like, everyone's like, why is she like that? Then you're my acquaintance, my guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but, like, I keep, I don't, like, shut anybody out. But I keep my personal stuff personal. And that's yeah. it. Like, I, that's just how I like to keep. If Protected. you're, like, if you're close to me, you know my stuff. Yeah. Like how my friend Michelle is, she's like the closest person to me right now. And she knows everything. And I'm not like the person who'll be like, I really need to cry right now. I'll just hold it in and she'll look at me. And then she's like, what's wrong? I'm like, nothing. <laughs> like my first response, nothing. What's wrong with you? You know what I mean? And then she's like, no, something happened. And then I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is what happened. You know, yeah. like there's few people in my corner, but like there's also people who know me and then they still support me. Some, some not all the way, like if they, like a lot of people watch me and I have a lot of people like yeah. watching me, but like that also doesn't bother me. So would you, would you say a lot of people say like you changed? Mm. 
Well, from my from my older friends. Yeah, older friends from out of state. Change stronger. Now. Yeah. So like, if you ask my buddies who I first started lifting with, totally different person. They're like, dude, I knew you were gonna go somewhere, but I did not expect this. Yeah. Like they like they knew who they are. Like who they're talking to. Like like who I'm talking about right now. They know who they are. They're like, I would have never guessed, but I knew you were going to do big things. And I'm just sitting there. I'm like, I don't know, you guys. You we'll a, see. You have a fucking drive. Mm. Right. Like, yeah it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of crazy i like yeah. put myself like i literally tell myself i'm gonna do something and it happens you're a go-getter exactly you're a doer, a doer. you don't you don't just wish upon it you're like mm-hmm. like someday oh. i'll do that no i'm like this year i'm competing that's what i'm doing mm-hmm. no matter whatever it takes if i make a fool of myself i'm still gonna do it <laughs> like fuck it, it's still gonna get done do you you sit do you live life or your life scared no i feel like that's the worst thing that you could do is like fear what is fear? It's mm. just mentally holding you back. That's just all. Just a feeling. Just like when the guy who like took me out of surprise in Texas, that was fear. Yeah. But I still got out. You know what I mean? I'm like, it's temporary. Yeah. You can't live life like that. You know what I mean? No one can do that. Like, oh, why are you scared of that? I'm like, oh, because this, like, there is one thing that I'm scared about. It's kind of dumb, but like uh, rabbits, I have like a weird thing for rabbits. I'm like terrified of them. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was scarred as a young age. I was really scarred. But like that in itself i'm like that's dumb that's a dumb obvious fear but i'm like that's how fear is yeah like how do you picture fear people are like oh yeah i'm scared of this that and the other are you one of those that when someone tells you a problem you're compassionate to the issues all the time even if they're being like if i have someone who's like being rude to me like out of nowhere i'm like what happened to you today i'm like what's like all you gotta do is listen to people people just want to be listened to yeah like even people are like oh i know i hate her she's like this that and the other or like oh i don't like him because he's like always short tempered with me i'm like well did you ask him why yeah what's like people there's something behind everyone like they're hiding you know what i mean you give people benefit of the doubt exactly are you easy to cut off people cut off people uh no i just won't i'll be like how are you dude like he's like oh i'm great i'm like cool speak to you in another two years no i mean (laughs) i don't cut them off unless they like they're fake with me straight up if they're fake i'm like bro what do you i already know your intentions like What's the point? And you address it, though. Exactly. I'll just come out of nowhere. Like, how people are like, I'm just, like, very, it's too, life's too short. I don't care. Like, if someone's like, oh, I've had people, like, just want to be my friends because of the fame. And I'm like, what fame, first of all? It's just 50,000 on Instagram. I'm like, it's nothing. You know what I mean? It could disappear tomorrow. Where are you going to be? You know what I mean? Because this is something you're already doing. And Mm -hmm. because of what you're doing and the work you put in, People are like tuning in. Mm-hmm. They just want to see like, fuck, what's next? Mm-hmm. What is she doing? I mean, you, no matter what happens, like you always have those people that are just watching you to see your downfall. Mm-hmm. Then you have the people that are watching you to see you succeed and what's next for her. Exactly. What's in the books? And it's like, eh, that's part of the world, right? Because a lot of people like they hold that to their heads. Like, bro, like I'm so scared of what somebody's going to say about me. Or it's like, bro, like why? Mm-hmm. Who are they to you? It's just words. Like yeah. when my first, like you go on my TikTok, the comment section it's is crazy. funny. It is so funny. Like when I first talked to my, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're going to make fun of this. They're going to make fun of, because we all have insecurities. Yeah. Everyone was, one of them was touched. All of my insecurities was addressed. They're like, did you see that? Okay. No one's going to address this part right here of the video. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to take it down. Everyone's seeing my flaws. But then I'm like, who cares? Yeah. Like if they're not going to see it on, online, they're going to see it in person when they see me. You know what I mean? Like there's <laughs> no they, filters and nothing. Nothing. they run into me and shit. Yeah, exactly. Know. So I'm like, might as well be real. And they're like, everyone has flaws, you know? And then people like try, if you take the power away from them, they have nothing. Like a lot of people are like, oh no, dude, like her, she has braces. Like my guy, that's not attractive. I'm like, well, so, everybody else has. And I'm yeah. like poor, so I couldn't afford them. So now I can. <laughs> so yay. You know what I mean? But like it, it will all be addressed. Everyone like tries nitpicking people and like bringing them down. I'm like, yeah, it's reality. Yeah. But like, it'll make me stronger. You know what I mean? It makes you stronger. Like all of my TikTok is people making fun of me. It's hilarious. I think it's funny. Plus, it's probably because it's never. I've never been in a public school system, so I never yeah. got roasted live. But like, people do that shit all the time. Like, uh, make bullying, fun of me and stuff. Like bullying, cyberbullying. Exactly. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. But then I'm like, who are you? Like, I have people like correcting my form on like all my platforms, and I'm like, show me then. <laughs> Like, t- make me a video, tag me in it, and, like, yeah. show me. Show me the correct. And way. even if it is correct, if I'm, like, uh, like not making, like, a 90%, like, 90 squat, yeah. and you correct it, I'm, like, okay, you're right. I'll give it to you. You know what I mean? My bad. Yes. Thanks for, like, tagging my video, though. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. your comments just, like, take off from there. And I'll never take it personally. You know what I mean? 
You like I've taken stuff too many personal. Like uh, I've had someone come up to me like, dude, you're there's no way you're a woman. You're like transgender or like you sound like a man. And I'm like, yeah, I can't help that, you know. Yeah. So thanks, dad and mom, <laughs> you know. But I'm like, I can't change it. You want me to just like get squeakier voice or something? You know what I mean? Yeah. Or just like with my 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 braces, people are like, oh no, that. But I'm like, you just gotta. If you love it, they'll learn to love it. And if they don't, don't follow me. Yeah. Don't talk to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're still gonna follow you. <laughs> exactly they'll, right. they'll always so what someone comes up to you right we're at 25 damn you see oh you got gosh. some things to say dude i need to stop talking <laughs> no not at all <laughs> someone asks you what let me rephrase that shit my bad best advice you can ever give somebody to people our age younger to people even in their 30s still need some sort of guidance mm -hmm. what is one thing that you probably live by and you can like this is advice, I think. Get out of your comfort zone. If it makes you uncomfortable, then you might have purpose behind it. Like, just like with me, like my biggest fear is talking to people. I mean, like now I'm talking to someone right now. <laughs> Worst this fear gonna ever. Be on Spotify, this is like a nightmare. Spotify, oh my Apple, gosh. YouTube. I know. So like whatever, if it makes you uncomfortable, do it. Like what is fear? Fear is nothing. So you got to overcome it, you know? And then if someone's telling you no, do it. Unless it's like jump off a bridge, then don't do it. You know what I mean? But like, <laughs> yeah, if they're like, no, you can't do that. You're nothing. You can't do that. Do it. Yeah. You're only holding yourself back. They're not holding you back. What would, what do you think is your purpose? Have you, have you figured that out yet? My purpose is to help recovery. Ta-da. No, it's just like, there it is. I don't know. Like, it's like, a, like amongst a lot of things, like female empowerment. I'm not like a feminist or anything, but like all female, yeah. but I'm like, Whatever you do, like make people comfortable. I'm not gonna be like, even if I do get the like the blue check down the line, I'll yeah. never. Because people are like, oh my gosh, you respond. I'm like, I'm like just a person, me. my guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I'll never be like superior to anybody else. Like because yeah. you take away my fame. If there was no Instagram, there was no TikTok. I'm just like you. Yeah. Like I'll never hold myself superior to anybody else. That's what like I strive for. Because like I've had myself reach out when i was starting like in the fitness industry and i wanted question i'm like i want this question answered they'll never even give me the time yeah or they'll be like oh yeah buy my program and now they want now they're giving you the time exactly now they're hitting me up they're like you want to collab i'm like sorry my guy remember what you said screenshot you i'll send it i'm like my heart broken <laughs> no nah. i'm just like no i'm not interested or like a lot of people hit me up they're like no rep my brand i'll do it like if it's a small business but yeah. if it's like something bigger and, and like especially like huge on supplements supplement com companies want me to say i take a pre-workout or eat a certain protein yeah. or like vegan and i'm like i'm not doing that i'll never promote something i don't use myself you know what i mean because like, like that's a whole thing now in yeah. the fitness industry they're like yeah. oh you need this to get big or you need a pre-workout i'm like that's coffee you know <laughs> i'm not gonna spend 30 dollars yeah. when i can buy four dollars at starbucks you know what i mean or like a coffee shop you know what i mean yeah like it's just like i'll never i never got the concept of that i've had people like reach out and be like i'll give you such and such amount of money if you say you drink such this, and such product i'm yeah. like nah We're you know what i mean there. like if i use the product then i will i'll be like no it's a really good product i will that's that's fucking legit because mm -hmm. How you said, there's a lot of people out there that promote it and then, hey, bro, like, how do you feel after using it? Well, I can't really tell you that because after it promotes really growth, it. they'll read the label. Like, it yeah, promotes growth. Like, hold energy. on, let me, let me, uh, oh, so it's this, this, this. Mm -hmm. It's like, or they're like, you want to look like me, bro? Drink this. Yeah. Nah. Nah, that's even like when we lift, whatever number we lift, bro, how'd you get so strong? And I was like, bro, do you, you need to be here. Okay, I'm still nervous, and it's part three already. <laughs> but made it this far. You made it this far. I know. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Got Great job. You, people really need to listen and hear people out. Mm -hmm. No matter what, it, what that person is doing, maybe they're mad, maybe they're angry, maybe they're sad. It's like, bro, just hear them out. Everybody, how I, I'm telling you, people mm -hmm. have a story that every time all the guests that we have on here, they leave episode airs and then like two days later like bro everybody's like giving me props like they didn't know this about me mm -hmm. i'm like they never really got to know you I'm like that's the whole thing with this whole podcast let's get yeah. to know people let's get let's share your story because there's gonna be what 18 year old girls guys 21 year olds that are just like you only have three years in the industry mm -hmm. or working out and you look like that it's like bro sky's the limit exactly so I ask this every time, and you kind of already answered it, but 
on a one to ten scale, mm -hmm. mentally, financially, emotionally, and physically, we'll add that in there. Where are you in that scale? Like one, you're like done, gonna gonna give up. You're mm. and ten is like you're perfect. There's nothing that can get better. Out of all three of those, I feel like financially I'm like at a five. There's always room for improvement. Everything else is like solid eight. Solid eight, you know? Like with lifting is like a mental thing and like physically it's a like a mental like they're they're two. You Got know it. what I mean? Like I'll never be lower. Like I was like back then I would say like I was a five. Mm. mentally and physically i'm like nothing i had no self-confidence people could tell me like no nah, you like whatever people said negatively i took it to heart yeah i'm like oh my gosh they're right you know what i mean Shit. but now i'm just like untouchable all right say what you want bro you know what i mean like yeah. it is what it is if that's how you feel that's how you feel but then i'm like how do you feel at the end of the day like what made you say that to me like who hurt you and they're like i'm i'm leaving Fuck. right now uh don't <laughs> don't answer the question you know what i mean but like that's and there's always room for improvement everything like how everyone says like that you can't it's, it's you against you. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, I might be a 10 right now, but tomorrow, maybe not. You know what I mean? It but changes. it's always, you got to get better, you know? And we're human. We all make mistakes. Like, financially, I might be like a 5, but tomorrow I might be a 1, you know? And then the next week, I might be a 10. You know what I mean? Just whatever you put in the work, you'll yeah. get. But you got to keep going. Exactly. And you can't be scared to talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I'm gonna cut that part and I'm gonna send it to you and ma remind you every time. Exactly. Every time. Yeah. So no. After this, my confidence is gonna be boosted, dude. I was on a podcast. I can talk to anybody. Like I'll be in, like I was on a podcast. I'm ready. Yeah. Here's my yeah, business card. I know. Someone's. So anybody that's gonna go up to you in the gym, they gotta be ready for a back backhand elbow. No, they're, I'm going to be like super cheery. They're going to be like, hi. I'm like, I already saw you coming, bro. How are you doing today? That's awesome. And they're like, oh my gosh. I'm like, sorry. So weird. <laughs> my bad. So when's, uh, when's the show? Or when's October, your... If you want to show up, but it's kind of expensive to get in. It's like $100 a ticket, but I know. But like it's October 23rd in San Diego. So right now, again, she's not drinking. She's not any alcohol because prep is serious serious you're serious all in right now. all money in exactly i mean i can't turn back i mean i can but i won't because i'm already all in mentally i'm there so i'm like i have to fulfill it my biggest fear i'm like just don't fall on stage <laughs> that's it and if she does it'll be on the tiktok <laughs> exactly it'll, it'll be a video of it you can turn it into a meme you know like do like the little buffering thing of me <laughs> hitting the floor and then add music <laughs> done 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 it would be bad but uh yeah hopefully not I mean, I'm not hoping for like for me to take it. I'm I don't know what to expect. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cuz like it's a bodybuilder show. Like I can be the only one on stage or I could be like the littlest one on stage. You know what I mean? Like there's a whole category and if I look the worst or I could look the best out of all of them. It's just you're paying them to judge you basically. Which is the scary part. I'm like, "Oh my gosh." But how you said all money in and if you I always say and I I keep it in mind, if you give everything and there's nothing left in the tank, then you did what you were supposed to do. Mm -hmm. You did it right. Exactly. You don't want to be that person that once it the show's over or once the task is done, you're just like, if I would have done this, I knew this would have happened. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, do it all. Put all your marbles out there. Put everything you got into it and hope for the best at exactly. that point, right? Yeah, everyone's like, no, you should do a show. When I was like lifting and I'm like, what is a show? And they're like, you, you get on stage and like you show off. Your I'm like, no, I'm not comfortable with that. There's yeah. no way. So, like, my guy friends are like, no, you should compete. Now that I'm competing, they're like, I knew you could do this. You're going to do great. And I'm like, are you? Are we talking about the same person? <laughs> but, like, they pushed me to do it. Like, yeah. um, when I first moved out here, too, I worked um, with my friend Gus, and he was a personal trainer at the small gym that we worked together. And he really pushed me. He's like, I see the present potential. You're going to go far. I'm like, are you sure? And then it just kind of took off from there. He introduced me to my coach, who I'm with now. And I've was 134 when I met my, met my coach and I was 160 at my heaviest, 160 out of a bulk, especially during COVID, it kind of got out of hand because I was eating a lot, but like muscle is muscle and it gains. As long as you eat, you, you grow, yeah. you know what I mean? Especially with macros, that's what I like about macros. Like if I can have an Oreo in my macros, I'm gonna eat it, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I've never been like kale, salads, nothing. Not the, how everybody portrays it. In order exactly, to hard do this, that, 
I mean, to each their own. Mm-hmm. Every, everybody has their own Everyone's way. body's different. Yeah, we went to the gym yesterday, and I was like, these guys eat salads and rice. I was like, I eat McDonald's every day. In the morning, <laughs> we're good, bro. <laughs> but I was like, there's a difference between what they lift and what I lift. But I'm just like, bro, like, it's different. They do it to maintain weight, to gain muscle, look skinny. I'm like, eh, I wish in my process I look skinny, mm-hmm. but I love food. I love, I, I love food. So. It's not a bad thing. I still love food. I'm still a fat kid at heart. But I'm already planning like my cheat meal after the show. <laughs> I'm like, I already know what I'm gonna eat. What is it? I know. I'm already gonna. I'm like, I'm like a huge Oreo fan. So it's definitely gonna have something to do with Oreos. And then it's gonna be like a well. I can't go all out. Like I can't eat like a huge meal because yeah. like when you're dieting, your stomach gets smaller. So like my eyes will definitely be bigger than my stomach that day. But I'm already planning. I'm like, I might have pancakes. Like, blueberry pancakes are, like, my thing. I love blueberry, anything. So then I'm like, it might be that. But then, it, like, it changes. Steak and potatoes or, like, something like pizza. I'm like, oh, my gosh. It's a lot of decisions. Well, we're not going to keep you away from that. But, dude, thank you. No for problem, For getting yeah. out of your comfort zone. Anytime. And coming out here. So a little toast to life with yeah, the rains. Sure. Appreciate you, dude.